Christina Mackey talks about the possibility of getting a Drake feature. Nowadays, everything I say gets twisted and is taken out of context and whatever. And you can either let that bother you or you can clarify. And me, I have time to clarify. I also have a brain of my own and um, I'm allowed to say how I feel and I'm allowed to talk about things. I don't have to just be this secret, quiet girl. That's not me. I don't have to be what you want me to be. In saying that, I went live with these twins and they asked me, you know, about like my type and like what I like. And they had no idea that who I used to date, right? But I've dated two people and if you look at them both, they're not functionally the most attractive men. <laughs> but to me, they were stunning. They were gorgeous. They are funny and there's nothing more attractive than a funny man. Literally nothing. This man had me laughing when I wake up. First thing in the morning he says to me is a joke, like hilarious, right? So by me saying, no, he was fat. That wasn't me talking shit. But y'all know how the internet is. They take the clip that they want you to see and then that becomes all of the context. They don't they don't include the question and how it started, right? Just the quickest part they can show you that's gonna get you to comment. He knows that he's fat. <laughs> and that's not me throwing shots at him. His nickname is Fat Boy. The most attractive thing about him is that he is very aware of himself. So you're not gonna catch me talking shit. I have nothing bad to say about the situation. I'm not choosing sides in a feud. That has nothing to do with me. Rap beef has nothing to do with me, so let's clarify that. I don't care about anything you guys are talking about when it comes to me discussing something that I really went through or I really lived through, something that I really enjoyed. Like, it's funny to me now. It's light, it's airy. Like, I can talk about whatever. I you can say what you wanna say. You can feel how you wanna feel. But if you think I would turn down a Drake feature over some internet beef. You are out of your rabbit ass mind. That ain't got nothing to do with me. It's Drake. And we all know what happens when you put Drake on a song. And I did my part while I was in that part. And now that we've departed, I have a new part to play, which is the main character in my life. What is best, most suiting, highest, most best choice for me? Yeah, don't be crazy. So when I was living in Long Beach, I was in this apartment where if you were on the left side, you could see the ocean. If you're on the right, you can't. I was on, obviously, the side you couldn't. But when I would go to my friend's house that was on the ocean side, I'd be like, wow, I wish this was like, this is amazing. So now, fast forward a year later, I'm living in Miami and I have an ocean view. And so when I wake up, the first thing I see is these beautiful windows and I just say, thank you, God because he created this thing that we know nothing really about. We just know it's water and we know there's life inside the water, but there are so many fascinating elements to the ocean that we will never understand and it lets you know that God is real. And that is my reminder every day. I get to see the sun rise and like the heat of the sun hitting my feet is almost like my alarm clock. What a blessing. So I try to wake up every day and just say, thank you God, cause he's real. And the minute you start understanding that he's real, and you put your faith into him, good things happen, baby. A hundred percent. If that's what God sent me, if, if God was like, yo, the connection is crazy here. Come over here. It is what it is. I don't, I'm not putting parameters on anything. I'm going to go where I feel is right, where I belong, you know? Forgiveness featuring Young Blue and myself, Christina Mackey, is streaming on every streaming service, including Pandora, which I didn't know. Somebody just DM'd me and told me that yesterday. And I'm feeling blessed. I'm feeling grateful. Stream it. I have a new song coming out in two weeks. <laughs> I have absolutely still been drinking my water. And I should have been reminding you guys, but I'm back. Here we are. Grab your water, let's drink water, let's mind our business, let's stay in tune with ourselves. Don't forget to speak to your water, tell your water that it is beautiful, it is a blessing, it is clean, it is healthy, that you are grateful to have it. I know you might think this is silly, but I believe that water holds message and it holds energy. And if you 
speak positivity into your water and you tell your water that you love it and that it is of God and you are very grateful to have it and to be able to consume it, all that loving energy will go into your body and then just further elevate your uh, vibes. So grab your water, drink your water, and that's that. I am not the most colorful all the time. Uh, a lot of the times I feel rushed or eager or just emotions that are attached to control. So I think I, I stay grounded by understanding that I don't have to always be in control. Um, I always want things to be my way and that's just not normal. So I'm working on it. I think admitting it and just being clear about why you're feeling the way you're feeling is just something I'm working on. You know, I'm growing, I'm young, I'm in my 20s. Um, I'm taking my time. I'm not in any rush to be perfect, but uh, I stay grounded by just understanding I'm human. I'm going to make mistakes. Not everybody's going to like everything I say. Do I like me? I do. So. I like that. Nobody should ever make you feel any way about anybody else. How do you feel about a person should be solely off your experience and your research? I like that. But even if you did hate me, baby. <laughs> I like that. So this fit is from Fashion Nova. And it is so soft. Be sure to like. Like. comment and subscribe okay look at how you can see the lines the definition it's quality but it hugs my body so well look at the shape this is all new for me y'all <laughs> my Long Beach best friend, Ronaldo, and he tells me that registration for the classes, basically, I'm about to miss the deadline if I don't go home. So what do I do? I leave. <laughs> I am not missing another semester of class. I gave y'all two. I need four back. Because this graduation party I'm going to throw is going to be sick. It's going to be so worth it. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.